The Piaseki H-21 workhorse, Shawnee is an American helicopter, the fourth of a line of tandem rotor helicopters designed and built by Piaseki Helicopter. Commonly called, the Flying Banana, it was a multi-mission helicopter, utilizing wheels, skis, or floats. The H-21 was originally developed by Piaseki as an Arctic rescue helicopter. Piaseki Helicopter designed and successfully sold to the United States Navy a series of tandem rotor helicopters, starting with the HRP-1 of 1944. The name was later applied to other Piaseki helicopters of similar design, including the H-21. In 1949, Piaseki proposed the YH-21 workhorse to the United States Air Force, which was an improved, all-metal derivative of the HRP-1. With its Arctic winter capabilities, the H-21A and H-21B were put into service by both the USAF and the Royal Canadian Air Force to maintain and service due radar installations stretching from the Aleutian Islands and Alaska across the Canadian Arctic to Greenland and Iceland. In 1952, some H-21As were evaluated by USMC Helicopter Squadron HMX-1 in the air assault role. In 1957, an H-21B was loaned to the United States Marine Corps to evaluate the helicopter as an airborne tug to tow disabled landing ships and amphibious landing vehicles to the beach. The uprated 1425 HP Wright engine used in the H-21B was also used in subsequent variants sold to both the U.S. Army and the military forces of several other nations. In 1962, the H-21 was redesignated the CH-21 in U.S. Army service. In 1959 Vertol Aircraft, the new name for Piaseki helicopters, came up with a concept for heavy lift over short distances where between two and six H-21Bs would be linked by beams to lift heavy loads. It was considered to be unsafe, because if one helicopter had mechanical problems during the lift it could cause an unbalanced situation and cause all helicopters to crash. In 1956, seeking a way to use helicopters in a ground attack role in the Algerian War, the French Air Force and French Army Aviation experimented with arming the Sikorsky S-55, then being superseded in service by the more capable Piaseki H-21 and Sikorsky H-34 helicopters. Some French Air Force and Army Aviation H-21C helicopters were subsequently armed with fixed, forward-firing rockets and machine guns. Though the H-21 had been removed from the ground attack role, official U.S. Army evaluations at the time indicated, that the type was actually more likely to survive multiple hits by ground fire than was the Sikorsky. This was assumed to be a consequence of the location and construction of the CH-30 Fa's fuel tanks. By the close of the Algerian War, troop-carrying H-21C helicopters were being used in concert with H-34 ground attack helicopters in large-scale counterinsurgency operations. The H-21C saw extensive service with the U.S. Army, primarily for use in transporting troops and supplies. On 24 August 1954, with the assistance of in-flight refueling provided by a U.S. Army U-1A Otter, a H-21C known as Amblin Annie became the first helicopter to cross the United States non-stop. Various experiments were made by the Army in arming the H-21C as a gunship. Some Shawnees were armed with flex guns under the nose, while others were fitted with door guns. The H-21C was first deployed to Vietnam in December 1961 with the Army's 8th and 57th Transportation Companies, in support of Army of the Republic of Vietnam troops. In Army service, the CH-21C Shawnee could be armed with 7.62mm or 12.7mm flexible door guns. Relatively slow, the CH-21's unprotected control cables and fuel lines proved vulnerable to the enhanced threat posed by North Vietnamese Army and Viet Cong ground forces, which were increasingly well supplied with automatic small arms and heavy anti-aircraft machine guns. The shooting down of a CH-21 Shawnee near the Laotian-Vietnamese border with the death of four aviators in July 1962 were some of the U.S. Army's earliest casualties in the Vietnam War. Despite these events, the Shawnee continued in service as the U.S. Army's helicopter workhorse in Vietnam until 1964 when it was replaced with the Bell A-1 Huey. In 1965, the Boeing CH-47 Chinook was deployed to Vietnam, and later that year, most CH-21 helicopters were withdrawn from active inventory in the U.S. Army and Air Force. H-21C Shawnee U.S. Army version of the H-21B became CH-21C in 1962, 334 built for U.S. forces. 32 built under license by Weser Flugzeugbau for the West German Army.